it was such a shock to me to see the announcement of who I was all kind of running with in this Hashira group. Because, yeah, he comes in at the end of the first season. He has one or two episodes, a couple of scenes. He's in literally the last five minutes of the second season. That's pretty much all his appearances in the second season. Um, but I do know there's a lot to do with him and a lot of, uh, I know a little bit about where he's going with certain characters. There's a and, lot of stuff that that's going down. And again, yeah. again I don't want, just, it, this is the, this is like the one time where we're, I know what happens too. Yeah. Um, <laughs> and, and I don't want to ruin it because there's people that I know with yeah. Demon Slayer who have not read the manga or are, waiting and they're watching the anime and they're trying to remain as spoilers i figured with ibo with you know sailor moon those things have been out long enough and also yeah. that fan base sort of knows what goes on um i think with demon slayers you know and even with rise of the shield i think people get an idea where it's going and we didn't yeah. really see much with it um but demon slayers is i don't want to be the guy that ruins it so <laughs> no. you're not gonna get a spoiler but it's very cool, and I and obviously, I mean, they're staying pretty close to, to the manga. I'm looking forward to what I have to do with him, and I had a lot of fun with just the voice and the character because I've done a lot of sly characters before, a lot of like rival snarky. I've done, you know, there was uh, one Punch Man where I did Speed of Sound Sonic, who's very similar in tone, you know, has this kind of snake like hiss to him as Igoro does, but then Igoro, I kind of made him even tougher than that. You know, Speed of Sound Sonic is confident, but he's a comic character. He's a comic relief character, whereas Igoro is confident, but he is confident because he is a threat. He is actually got some skill to him. And I didn't know what it was going to be like, because again, I only got the casting when the first season was about to finish. And he's only in the last few episodes. So I was thinking, okay, um, are we getting a second season? Am I going to have more to do in the second season? And, you know, how big is this character? What is it going to, what am I going to want to research um, going forward? And then when I got the, I didn't really know anything about the manga or anything about the show, but when I saw who all the rest of the Hashira were, I was just like, oh no, we are, we got some shit to do. Cause I would see, you know, I was cast alongside Crispin Freeman and Johnny Young Bosch and, and all these heavy hitters 